welcome back to Cooking with Shay. Oh my goodness, love is in the air. Can you smell it? Okay, I can't smell it, but I can smell berries. Oh, oh my god, whoa, okay. So for this Valentine's themed video, I am super excited to do a classic and I'm sure a lot of you guys will have heard about this one. But we are doing berries and cream, but vegan. I thought this was the perfect like Valentine's Day casual like dessert or even like treat. Like something you would just have in the afternoon or you'd have it at night after a fancy dinner. You know, some berries and cream. And so what berries and cream are is basically your favorite berries and some whipped cream pretty much. But we are doing it vegan and it's super, super easy. You guys will not even believe it. Like this is gonna whip out in maybe like five minutes, especially if you like don't take the extra step that I'm gonna be taking. But we, we are bougie over here. We are fancy. We are professionals. So we're gonna do a fancy little step and make our berries extra Valentine's-y. I'm excited. Yay. So first thing you're gonna need, of course, is some washed berries. I'm gonna put these just here for now. You can choose whatever berries you like. I'm gonna be using strawberries. This is very important if you wanna make it very Valentine's-y. But the other berry I chose is also raspberries the red and delicious so what we're gonna do to make our strawberries extra special is we are going to cut them into little heart shapes yay and it's really simple like it's not that hard to do all you have to do is just cut them lengthwise because normally people cut them like horizontally and that's fabulous but we are cutting them lengthwise and if you guys hear rustling in the background that is my dog so you want to cut it to where it looks like a little tongue and obviously these ones are not gonna really be totally heart-shaped because they split in the middle, so. You can just eat them. But the way we're gonna turn these little tongue-shaped things into hearts is very simple. So we're just gonna go ahead and just create, a take out a little triangle. This is really hard for me to do with one hand, so this one might be looking a little whack. That is okay. Oh, see? See what I said about doing it with one hand? <laughs> that one did not come out beautiful. I did a little bit of fixing, a little shaping, and sorry for my hands are so dry, but look, it's a little heart. Yay! So we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing with all our strawberries, and we'll make little heart shapes. I made them a little bit bigger, and that helps, and you don't have to like lose much of the strawberry, actually. Okay, we made five little strawberry hearts, and now we're just gonna Take, uh, take these to the side here, and I'm gonna cut up a few more strawberries, just pretty plain and simple, just to have in there. And then, of course, raspberries are so easy, you don't need to chop them up, so let's move on to our next step. Next, we're gonna be making the cream. So this is the secret to vegan whipped cream or heavy whipping cream. Either way, it doesn't matter, um, but I have used this in my past, like zebra cake, dessert, which you guys should check out. That could be another Valentine's Day dessert even too. You can put some red food dye in it. Boom, very cute. Here we go, we got the soup. Heavy whipping cream, but dairy free. Tastes absolutely the same. So freaking good. And we're gonna go ahead and pour it into a nice little mixing bowl right here. And what's nice about this is we're probably gonna have extra cream, so you can just leave it in the fridge and it will actually thicken up even more in the fridge. There we go, just pour it all in there like it's milk. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of vanilla extract for flavor. Oh my God, this thing is so painful to open. That's enough. I'm just like eyeballing it cause I kind of know, like it's about a teaspoon basically of vanilla. So that's pretty much it. Then we're gonna take our mixer, turn that on and want to go all the way full power. Blend until stiff peaks form. Alrighty, six peaks have indeed formed. It was super quick. I think it maybe took maybe like about three minutes for it. And now the cream is ready. So all that's left to do is to plate it up. I've got a cute little glass and a spoon. Let's take the spoon out for now. Well, actually we're gonna use a spoon. So first we're gonna put some berries on the bottom and that's gonna be, that's gonna be our raspberries. Get 
two berries on the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my little heart shapes. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna try to maneuver them on the side here and hope they don't fall. So it should look something kind of like this a little bit. Some creme. Beautiful. And we're gonna just push that right in the middle here. I feel like I should have put my strawberries in last. They're sort of showing. Maybe. And I'm gonna take the rest of my strawberries. Ah. Oh my god. Lord. I'm gonna just put them all in the cream. A few more raspberries. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then some more cream on the top. Then we'll put our little like heart shape here. Okay, look. Okay, so the hearts on the side really did not have the effect that I totally wanted them to. I thought I was getting a super chef on that. But look at the top. She's very cute. Alrighty guys, it is time to dig into the bodies and cream. I'm very excited. I haven't had this since like high school in maybe junior year. They randomly had berries and cream one day and I had no idea what it was. <gasps> Wait, before we eat this, we have to do the berries and cream dance. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little man of those berries and cream. Up the octave. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little man of those berries and cream. Okay, now we can eat it. Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. I do kind of wish I put like honey, maybe, in the cream, make it a little sweeter. So let me try that. Because I feel like I might have overdone it on the, what's it called? On the vanilla and it's giving me a weird aftertaste. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna mix this around. We're gonna make a mess of it now. A little honey in there. Honey, little honey never hurt. I almost preferred it without the honey because I forgot how I don't like the taste of honey on its own. But it's kind of growing on me. I like maple syrup though. I just feel like the cream, it's just not, you know, it's not like, um, oops, too much. Okay. It's not like total like whipped cream, like how whipped cream is like just naturally delicious sometimes. I feel like it kind of has like a weirder, how do I explain this? Has like a weirder aftertaste and you don't really notice it in baked goods. But with the berries and the cream just like being like the main part of it, you kind of notice it. Maple syrup may seem weird to add, but it's a sweetener and it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that was so good. I'm really happy with it. Yay, I made a bit of a mess on my dish, but that is okay. And that is it, you guys. That is how to make berries and cream. It was so much fun to make, so easy. It took me like, I think maybe 10 minutes. Like if I wasn't filming a video, if I was just doing it on my own, you know? It would probably be like a 10 minute, really quick, easy make. So fun. And what a classic. Like it's such a good little Valentine's Day moment. It has a little bit of funny YouTube meme humor or TikTok humor to it. Um, and delicious. It's so delicious. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. Bye.